I'm going to walk you through the site very slowly. You can stop the film and read any part of it that you want to read, but quite simply, I'm explaining to you. First thing you're going to do is register. Even if you want to book an appointment or anything, you must register. There are certain conditions that you have to agree to them and state about yourself, read them. Not everybody is suited to go onto the site. When you affirm this, fill in your name, put in a password and register. Really very, very simple. When you've done that, you go on to the login. Now you will review the conditions and reaffirm the conditions of use every time you go in. I have read the conditions, login. Now, in this particular case, we're going straight into the application notebook. But the first time you go through, you will be asked to look at this page. This page talks about essential things that you're going to be going through. Now, you must remember certain things about the site, about every therapy, but we'll be very open about them. You must remember that change is slow and inevitably you're going to relapse. Read what I have to say here, stop the page, read it slowly. Now the next thing, although it's written very, very precisely and shortly, is something you have to practice for a week at least, relaxation. And it's teaching you relaxation guided fantasies. And again, it reminds you about the relapse. I talk about the importance of exercise, eating and sleep hygiene and time management. Three short sentences, but they are going to change your way of life. They are essential for any change. It is much more important for me and for you, I hope, to realise it's easier to change your lifestyle than to start changing the chemistry in your brain, which is, I think, very, very undesirable. Okay, so this is something you're going to grasp, and this is the basis of all the therapy. And it's very simple to understand, it's not difficult to do, but you have to make the decision. You're going to change the things you're doing. It's easy to apply, it's easy to stop, and it's easy to restart. And I'm talking from personal experience, it works. Now, this, let's go on to the basis of the therapy itself, the application notebook. And it all starts with, you log on, and you come and you're asked to add a critical incident. And you go in, and here you have a description of what the critical incident is. The critical incident is something that happened to you want to discuss. With yourself, you're going to analyze it and you'll see what is different about this therapy. So let's just put in any old thing. And I'm going to share this with the e-group. I'll explain all this later. It'll take a few minutes. We submit the critical incident. Now it's going to get you to the next page and it's going to tell you, look, we're always going to be talking about why lay. What have you learned about yourself? This is the center of self-help and self-learning it's going through and saying this you are going to each time learn what have you learned about yourself watch we're going on to the cognitive section which is basically cbt on one leg it is dedicated as you say to where we're thinking and it talks about the critical incident and it asks you four basic questions Stop the film, read the questions if you want. And then we comes on and asks you the same kind of questions at the end of each module. What you thought about yourself, what 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 you thought about the what well, was it related to what you were doing and how true it was. And you'll see as you go through it. Okay, let's just make things up as we go along. Um, these are the four questions. Read them for yourself slowly. How aware was I? Is it true or isn't it? What have I learnt about myself? And I submit the answer. 
Now this is where we say, now it's saying to you, okay, this is what you've thought to be. In the past you had other critical incidents and you learned, this is what you learnt about yourself on each one. If you want, you can review them. Watch. There you go, a review of that particular thing. But that's enough. We've learnt about how we're thinking. We're going to go on a bit further. We're going to discuss different ways that we relate to people. And read it. This, we're talking about two kinds of basic situations. And you see again the critical incident is reminded at the top. And it asks you a whole load of questions which you've just read about up here. They're very simple to understand. You go in and you answer each one and you come to the end. I'm doing this slowly. <laughs> And you come to the end, what have you learnt about yourself? Each time you've asked how relevant was it to what happened, submit it. And again, you come to a whole series of previous, ex previous times you've been here. And it asks you about the why lay and what happened in that situation, what you learnt about yourself. And you begin to see very, very quickly that you're doing the same thing over and over again without even realising it. Let's go on to another aspect of what you want to learn about yourself. And this is how you relate to people when you're talking to them. The art of conversation is listening to the other person. And most of the time, because of our anxieties, we're not listening. We're somewhere else. Read what I have to say are the things that you might be doing. Stop the film, read it, and go on. I'm going to answer it very quickly. Each question you now understand because you've read the rubric. Oh, but it's designed to be very simple. Don't overcomplicate anything. It's as simple as it looks and it's simple to do. Just do it. Okay. Then just do it. And again, you submit the why lay. What have you learned about yourself? And then you have the other previous why lays. What have you learnt about yourself in previous modules in the um, interaction? Now we're talking about something much harder. We sit, what we're saying is that you do at the time have feelings with every incident. But most of the time you hate, hide them away till they explode. And I want you to be more aware of your feelings. It's again, it's explained very fully up here what we're trying to do. It's very easy to grasp. And... You answer very quickly what was happening at the critical incident. What were you really thinking? What were you feeling that you were hiding from yourself? And now it's becoming more and more apparent. The caveat here is that after a couple of sessions, you start becoming aware of your feelings in real time. And sometimes that's a wee bit difficult. Again, you have the summary of the feelings. And now we come to the final thing, the summation. Here I ask you, re look at the film. What I'm basically saying is, you should be now thinking, in the critical incident, you should be getting to a point where you're thinking to yourself, what do I want? And there's three kinds of ways of looking at it. One is being selfish, one is being as you wish should be, and one is being Mother Teresa. And... Um, you have to decide what are the things you're going to do, you, you, what are your three alternatives, and then you're going to ask what you're going to do, what you're thinking of doing. Again, answer the questions. Um, there's a very difficult one at the end which says how much were you feeling when you were feeling it? Was it related to what was happening and how much was it in the past, from the past? Usually it is from the past when you're behaving badly. So, uh, or behaving in a way that causes you distress and you want to bring it up. And you start dealing with this past. And then you come out to the summary of the, fit, the, of the, the summary page. And now we come on to the, what I call the icing of the cake on the cake, you can re go through every section. We call each section, your cognitive section, 
and you can, as you did before, look back at the individual session. Close. Okay. That is the cognitive, the CBT workbook. Now we've got more than that. We've got an e-group. Now the e-group, there's an about the e-groups. Read it. Basically well, what is happening is that you asked, you pose a question, which you might do through this critical incident at the very beginning. You might pose this to the group. You automatically become a group member. You will be informed by email about ongoing threads and you will be asked to respond to them. Or if you pose the thread, the thread yourself, you will be asked to respond to people's responses. Now, there is also a blog which uh, you can use and the R forum. Where here there are things that are posted by yourselves where you can go in, look at what's happening and you can reply. You can reply that this point is not working too well but it, the forum will work by the time you're, you're there and also you can ask Dr. Benjamin here, you can ask ask a question from me whatever and post it I will get this sent to me by mail and I will send it back to you by mail your answer by mail use it sparingly and don't expect to get an answer within 24 hours you won't if you want to make an appointment with me you go into the diary you see where it's available you go in and book and we make an appointment using Zoom there you have it, an all comprehensive self-help site. As you see here, the application notebook, the different kinds of therapies, the first of which is the non-specific therapy, which is the basis before you start, the e-groups, and I think that you can't get a more complete set, uh, set of instructions than that. Now, we can meet on webinars. Um, we will be able to post questions and uh, by writing beforehand, and I will try to answer them in a group, in a webinar setting. Thank you very much for listening.